The late 1960s and the 1970s saw a radical shift in black political thought, represented in the Black Power Movement, the Black Panther Party, and the Black Arts Movement. In the wake of Dr. King's death, the quest for civil rights became radicalized, and the black church was no exception. James Cone was a leading theologian of the Black Power Movement era who revolutionized the study of theology by arguing that black liberation was at the center of what we should understand to be the preaching of the gospel. The Reverend Dr. James Cone, a distinguished professor at Union Theological Seminary in New York, spoke out unflinchingly about race and racism especially economic justice and the abuses of the prison system. The late 1960s marked a turning point in Cohn's career when he turned to theology to amplify the voices of the black freedom struggle and center blackness within Christianity itself. James Cohn is arguing God is black. He means that God is so intimately connected to the welfare of black people that God is indistinguishable from them. This began the formation of an alternate theology for black churches that requires a different way of thinking about power. But for some of his black female counterparts, they found themselves frustrated that he didn't adequately account for the ways in which black women in the church were directly impacted by gender, by patriarchy, by sexism. I think one of the most interesting and important aspects of African-American churches is that the majority of people who are in the pews are women. The success of those institutions has rested on, on the labors of black women. They saw themselves as departing from black liberation theology in order to take seriously the experiences of black women. These women are using womanist theology as a way to raise up these concerns about the lack of recognition of the power and importance of black women in those institutions. Jacqueline Grant, who was one of the students of James Cone, became one of the founders of womanist theology. She established the uh, women's study of religion at Harvard University and worked in the field of Christology with a very specific focus on the experiences of black women and set the foundation for the field. These righteous women of God were in pursuit of an interpretation of the Bible that reflected the realities of their existence, indeed the full range of their humanity. Interweaving a feminist worldview with black power and the word of God to form a womanist theology, these black women shaped a Christianity they could truly call their own. <laughs>